Kat here to talk a little bit more about binary. In our last instalment we had a look at how we would convert a binary number to a decimal number so let's try and do it the other way around. So we're going to do decimal to binary. So let's say we start with the number 37. We also need to go straight back to our little scale so we'll get that up and the way I like to convert from decimal to binary is by repeatedly subtracting. So it'll make sense in a moment but what I do is I start with my leftmost number which is 128 and I say does 128 fit into 37? No it doesn't. Does 64 fit into 37? No it doesn't. Does 32 fit into 37? Yes it does and how many does it leave over? So 37, take away 32, and that leaves us with 5. So this is our new base. So we start again. Does 16 fit into 5? No, it doesn't. Does 8 fit into 5? No, it doesn't. Does 4 fit into 5? It certainly does. Let's take 4 away from 5, and that leaves us with 1. Immediately I can see that 2 is not going to fit, but 1 does. So 37 as a binary number is 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. Let's try another one. Okay, let's start with the number 98. So we go from left to right. Does 128 fit? No, it doesn't. Does 64 fit? Does indeed. 98 takes 64. That leaves us with 34. Let's keep going. Does 32 fit into 34? It certainly does. 34 take away 32. I'm going to pop our answer up here. Leaves us with 2. 16 doesn't fit into 2. Neither does 8. Neither does 4. 2. Take away 2. That leaves us with 0. So there is nothing in the 1's column. Let's go again. I'm going to give you a cheat one. Let's say I asked for 31. What do I know about this one? It is 1 less than 32. So if I put a 0 in my 32 column and everything to the left of it, and I put a 1 everywhere to the right of it, that should equal to 31. Double check that one with a calculator. As you do more conversions, you start to notice more patterns and you start to be able to come up with your solutions quicker. But the basic process from going from decimal to binary is by subtraction. So you start with your base number. Does this one fit into it? Does this one, this one, this one, and so on. And then you subtract the ones that fit in there and work your way down. So always work from left to right in this case. Good luck converting.